Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at some, should have probably checked the name first, I think they are called Pentel Graph Gear Pencils. So these are mechanical pencils. Let me just get these out. So I just got these through on Amazon. Um, I used a Japanese seller because it was cheaper, but as far as I'm aware it's a Japanese brand. So hopefully they're not fakes or anything like that. And I'll be honest, I haven't planned this video, so I don't really know what I can actually say about them. Um, to sort of review them because you know pencils are pencil um, but we'll see what we can do so first of all the sizes that these come in or these four at least are the 0.3 let's see if my camera will focus the 0.5 the 0.7 and last of all the 0.9 so the number in this case is actually the lead size so as you can see, each one has a different color depending on the size. Uh, let's have a look at the actual design. It's obviously it's made out of metal. It has actually got these little rubber bits on the grip here. I couldn't comment yet on how good these will be, but obviously got a bit of texture on the metal here as well. It has got these little barcode stickers on, but they are stickers, so uh, they will pull off. Yeah, they will. I'm not going to do that on camera because I'll make a mess of it. They've got these bits so you can actually grip them onto things. That's pretty handy, but for me personally, I probably won't use that much. But if you travel around with a sketchbook or something, uh, that could be pretty good. I do think that the end of these is quite a weird shape, but we'll have a look at that once we've actually got the leads in. So if I can get my camera to focus, you can see it does have the size on the end as well. And this end bit actually pulls off. There you go. And there is a little eraser on the end there. So I've actually bought some leads for these, which I will show in a second. I've just pressed this end in to get the nib out and the actual end of the pen comes out. You know, I was commenting earlier about it being a weird design. Um, it's because it was missing that end bit. So that's come out and that's not even the nib. So you can see the nib coming out there. Hopefully it shows up on camera. This is the 0.3. I'll compare the sizes in a second as well. Um, but if you look, you can see how the nib has come out on that or the extra bit on the pencil. I don't know what you'd call it. It's pretty cool that they came with a lead already as well. I genuinely don't know how to actually push that back in because I've not used these before. Evidently it is not by pushing it in though. Um, I'll have a look at that in a second. So to get that end bit out, I actually just pressed the back end in as if I was pushing the lead through, like so. Admittedly, I could not figure out how to get that back in though. So I actually had to just look on Google. And all you do is the clip bit here, just press that in and it shoots back in pretty quickly actually. It kind of feels like it'll break it, but hopefully it won't. So that's the pencils, and then I bought these LEDs on Amazon as well. I've no idea why one of them comes packaged and the other ones don't. Um, there was a few different Pentel LEDs for these. I didn't know what was what with it, to be honest, but it came up saying users who bought these pencils bought these LEDs, so hopefully they're right. I do actually already have a 0.3 Pentel pen, or mechanical pencil, and I use a different lead for these. I don't know if there's a difference between the two, but online it came up as if these were stronger and less likely to break. We'll see. One thing that seems a little bit odd, uh, 0.7, don't know if you can see that on camera, but 40 pieces. 0.5, 40 pieces. 0.9, 36 pieces. 0.3, 15 pieces. I probably just ordered a different size of that by accident. I'll have to have a look at that on Amazon. I might not actually test those out on camera right now just because there are already LEDs in them, HB LEDs, I think. So I may as well use those. It's the same company, so it's probably the same LEDs anyway. So 0 0.3, 0.5, 0.7, and last of all, 0.9. To be honest, they don't look as different as I was expecting, but it might be that I've gone in with a bit of an angle, so let me just try that a bit more head on. 0.9, 0.7, 0.5, not that you would probably draw straight down like this, or I don't, anyway. My preference is probably going to be the 0.3 anyway, I prefer the finer nibs. Oh yeah. Oh no. I broke one. Let's try that again. Okay, the nib's sticking out a little bit on that one for some reason, on the 0.9. I don't know why, but that's fine. So I also have a Stedler Mars Technico. I've got a few pens like this. I was going to say I will compare the size of them to draw with, 
But again, this is a much harder nib, so it's lighter. But on top of that, you actually sharpen these ones. Um, I do like these ones, but it is a pain sharpening them. And that, I guess, is the advantage to these finer ones. There is a little bit of weight difference, though. Um, these ones have metal on them, but I don't know if it's metal all the way. These ones are a little bit heavier, but they seem fine. So I brought my camera a little bit closer here. I just wanted to show the size difference in the nibs. Um, to be honest, they don't look as different as I was expecting, other than maybe the 0.3. Um, you can tell that is thin. I also just wanted to show it compared to a Mars Carbon. So these are the ones I use in my other mechanical pencils shown earlier. Again, you can sharpen these into a point, so they're not going to be as thick as they look, but they are a hell of a lot thicker. And not only that, but they're quite a lot longer, um, probably over twice the length, in fact. So you probably won't need to change it as often, but you will have to sharpen it. So. so the last thing I can think to test is just that they are all erasable. They are all just regular pencil leads, so they should be. Yeah, they erase pretty well. Ooh, and before I forget, I also bought some Color Eno Neox. I don't know their actual name. Um, these are 0.7, so I'm hoping this will fit in the pencil. Let's test that out really quickly. So I've got that in to test out. Broke it whilst trying. That was a bit annoying. But yeah, it fits fine. It's actually really nice, that. That writes really nicely. I'll do another video on them, on these another time. But I just wanted to basically show that if you do like the look of the mechanical pencil itself, you can use different leads. Awesome. So when replacing the nib, put them in from the back instead of the front so you don't break them like I just did. So onto the pencils in action now. I wanted to test them out sketching something actually on camera. It starts off with quite a light sketch, so it's not as visible at the beginning. It does get darker. If the lighting looks weird, it's because I have upped the contrast a little bit for that very reason. So this is my attempt at drawing The Witcher, just because I've been watching it on Netflix recently and it was fresh in my mind. The lead that I used throughout this mainly was the 0 0.3. So that is the thinnest of the four pencils. I did switch between the others for shading and things like that, but mainly worked with the 0 0.3. I was meaning to pay attention to the grip on the end, the little rubber bits. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest, but I see it as a good thing because nothing actually stood out as being bad about them. They seemed really comfortable to use. And personally, I really like these pencils. I think they are a really nice design. I know a lot of artists online like to use them as well. The price, I paid £28 for four pens. That's in the UK. As you saw already, that included one lead in each one. But generally speaking, they are a little bit more expensive than that, especially if you actually want to buy them from a UK seller. For each pack of the leads shown on camera earlier, they were about £2.80. I think one of them was maybe £3.60. The fact that you get 40 in most of them, minus the one that's only got 15 in, cheeky, that's a pretty good price. They are only small though, and I will point out that throughout recording this, I did have to keep pushing the nib further out because I was going through it quite quickly. That being said, I was using the nibs that came with the pencils. I'll try to remember to update everyone on how the newer LEDs do. But yeah, they, they were really nice to work with. They were pleasant to use. If you're not set on this brand in particular, or you're not bothered about the design of these mechanical pencils, you can get other brands for probably half the price. But it's a relatively inexpensive item anyway. This was all done with HB LEDs as well, so I can only get so much sort of shading and contrast in this one. But this one took a total of 45 minutes, which for me is incredibly fast. I'm going to upload this sketch as a video on its own as well, so I'll put a link to that in the description box below. That video will be a little bit longer, so you can see it slowed down a little bit. So that's it finished, guys. Hopefully you found a little bit of information in this video regarding the pens. Hopefully something to help you make your decision. Overall, I'm really happy with them. They're comfortable to use. They're not a necessity, but yeah, they're nice to have. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what sort of pencils you guys use. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.